Love bugs. Let's get wasted. Flexible. Fixed. I am currently offering two types of waist speed. So you have your fixed and you have your flexible, okay? The flexible is gonna come on a black nylon string, which gives, it's stretchy, okay? But the cord that I use is very strong. So you're not gonna have to worry about that giving on you should you accidentally grab it and pull it. Um, it's very strong, it's gonna take quite a bit to uh, break it. You can get into the shower pool, whatever. You do not have to remove these, but the flexible string does give you the option to remove as you please, okay? Fixed string is uh, gonna be 100% cotton. It's gonna be gold, right? It's beautiful. And um, this one, once you install, you cannot take it on and off at your leisure. You have to cut it off, okay? So that is going to be the fixed and the flex waist beads and you're ready to install them all you need is your body and a pair of scissors so once you get your waist beads out of the bag you want to make sure that there's no kinks in the line okay it's fairly easy move all your waist beads down away from the two ties at the end Right, and then you make sure that you don't have any kinks in a line, okay? The healing stones may be a little bit more difficult to push down on the, on the bead to make sure that you have no, no uh, kinks or spaces. So take the time to do that. It shouldn't be too hard. They move pretty quickly. There you go. Now we have no kinks, no gaps in the line. We're gonna go ahead and put it around. Right, so now you wanna get your beads around the waist. Go ahead and adorn yourself, right? You're gonna decide where you have enough beads at. So if you wanna come right up against the body, you're gonna remove all the beads from there. If you want it to be a little loose, give you a little room, uh, you're gonna leave a little room. You're not gonna tie. Remember, it's flexible, so it's giving. If you want them to be right up against the skin, remove the beads until you get right up into that point. Okay, the first knot that you're gonna do is one that does not uh, hold the beads, but it's just gonna make it easier for you to pull the beads tight and see if that is what you want. If it's not, guess what? This is gonna come right back down, okay? So the next step can get a little messy. If you still have your bag nearby, you can put the end of the beads down into the bag before you cut, just to make it a little bit easier, okay? All right, so now you've cut it. You wanna, be, when you cut, let's be clear, you're leaving extra string. You don't wanna cut to where you don't have any room to tie because this tie requires for you to bring the two string strands together to make a knot. So. Remember, you have that knot at the top that you're using to hold things tight and straight as you want them, okay? So now you have two strings. You're gonna take those two strings. And you're gonna tie another one of those knots. That's the second one. And you're gonna do a third one, okay? There's the third one. Guess what? That still does not work for waist beads. And, and I'm sorry, because I probably was confused and I said you want to pull them together. You do want to pull them together, but that's after you have the three regular knots, okay? So now that I have the three regular knots and my two strings are together, my waist beads hold. But that is not secure enough. You're going to take two the two strings in your hand and you're going to make a knot like this. Two strings together, pull it through. Now you have a knot, you're going to push it to the beginning, so it's real tight. Push it, push it and pull this string. I told you this string is strong, so you're pulling against the knot that you just created, okay? And you want to do that again, all right? 
just like that. Pull it tight, make sure it's tight. Pull the waist beads, make sure they're tight even from the other end. Okay, and I'm gonna do that one more time. So same thing with the fixed chain. You want to get them out of the bag. Make sure you have no kinks in the line, no air gaps. Remember, those healing stones are going to need a little help being pushed down the line to make sure there is no spaces in between them. Okay, so now that we have no spaces in the waist beads, let's get them let's around get the waist. beads around the waist. You want to decide on if you're going around once or twice. Remember, because it's 50 inches of beads. So some of you can do it twice if you should choose, okay? So get it onto your waist. Decide where is the point that you want to go ahead and break it off at. I think that this is a good spot. I've pushed all my excess, excess beads down to the bottom of the string. I am now going to place the extra bottom ones into the bag just so I can catch them. Uh, you could just cut away if you want to at your leisure. I cut away leaving myself extra string. Now I'm gonna go in and tie regular knots once, twice, three times, okay? At least three times, all right? For me, same thing with the string. I always go back to make the final knot a different loop through. I'm gonna have to find out the name of that so that I can tell you what kind of knot it is. Okay, press it up to the top there. It's secured. Go ahead and cut the excess strand. Okay, and that is how you install your waist beads. I am the love bug, Valley Born Bay Race Farmer Chick. Follow me on Instagram at Leo Movement. See you there. Love you guys.